What we heard 
was an alap in the rag Malkons. Alap is the primary improvisational strategy or uh, aspect or element of improvisation in uh, Hindustani music. A khayal presentation has a composition at its heart, but it is primarily about rag avistar or rag badhat. These are the expressions we use uh, which are then rendered in English as improvisation. Hmm? It is a khayal presentation seeks to elaborate or explore a rag. It seeks the flowering of a raga. Is, even though a uh, khayal presentation revolves around the composition, right? the composition itself is never the whole presentation. It necessarily, a khayal presentation necessarily includes uh, variation and other elements that are not pre-composed. And so we have the bandish which is the pre-composed part of the presentation and then we have the vistar which is not pre-composed but is created spontaneously on the spur of the moment. And this aspect of uh, khayal presentation as I said has been called improvisation. And scholars and musicologists have pointed out that it is not entirely appropriate to call what happens in khayal as improvisation but we will not get into that here. We will stick to the Hindi word it is actually a Sanskrit word, uh, vistar, right? because that is what we are doing, elaborating upon the rag, exploring its many hues and colors. So, alap is the most central strategy of rag vistar. And alap has a long history actually. The, for instance, the 12th century Sangeeta Ratnakara of Sharnadeva offers uh, elaborate descriptions of alap. First, having I mean, it, it, in fact, uh, the Sangeeta Ratnakara makes a distinction between Ailap and Ailapti. Ailap, according to it, is a, is a concise presentation of a raga so that all its uh, basic features, that is, all the lakshanas of the raga are revealed. Whereas Ailapti is a more elaborate uh, artistic performance that is uh, described as progressing in a certain manner, following a certain template. Today's alap uh, of Hindustani music is Sharangadeva's alapti. Most uh, scholars find this. And uh, this is um, Sharangadeva on alapti. Alapti is described by the experts as richly endowed with melodic contours and ornaments colored with vocal ornaments and shadings and full of charming curves. Sharangadeva says also that uh, Ailapti unfolds in four stages. That is, it's, it's a, it is not up to the whim of the performer to present an Ailapti in any way. Hmm. Um, so, there is a, a mention of moving from the lower registers to the higher ones in the course of Ailapti. Now, Hindustani music, all genres display this feature, whether it is the Rupad or Khayal or instrumental music, they start, we start with the mandra, we go into the Madhya and then we go into the Tara Saptak. Interestingly, Karnataka Ailapana does not necessarily and always display this feature. So, alap is, as I said, the primary strategy of Vistar in Hindustani music and there are other aspects, other uh, strategies too, other ways too that the raga is explored. These include bol alap or bol band in which the text of the composition is used. We also have uh, taan which is, which is actually used only in uh, khayal and uh, instrumental music, not in Drupad. And we have Sargam or uh, singing or exploring the raga using the swaras, actually uttering the swaras. And and you know, all this is done in a very stylized way, typical in, in, in a very specific ways. With of course, considerable uh, leeway and considerable room for artistry. 
Well, we will take a look at all these various uh, aspects of Raga Vistar in this video. First, Alap. In Alap, the Raga is explored using vowels like A or E or even meaningless syllables like Rida Na Na Noom, Ta Na Na Na, etc. Uh, you would have noticed it in the Alap that we heard. Now, in Khayal, most of the Alap is done within the setting of the composition. That is, the composition is first rendered, the Alap is performed with Tala as it is, and that is in, in within the Avartanas. So, in that sense, we might say that Alap is Nibadha. That is, it is bound in Tala, right, because it happens within the Avartanas. But it is not tied down in Tala, just like the Vilambit Khayal itself. And so it has a, an Anibadha feeling. Whereas in Drupad and Carnatic music, Alap is performed before the composition. So in Drupad, the complete Alap, a very, very elaborate Alap is performed before the composition. And Alap here is clearly Anibadha, it is not bound. The alap that we heard in the in the beginning of this video was in the khayal idiom, but it had links. This way of singing alap has links to the drupad style. In khayal, as I said, a lengthy alap without the bandish or before the bandish is rarely performed today. Though some older schools of khayal, especially the Agra uh, Agra school, they do have this practice. This is drawn from the drupad style. And uh, you would also have noticed the use of syllables, as I mentioned, Rida Nana, Tana Nanum, Tana, etc. And this brings a certain pulsation to the music. And this again is typical of Drupad Alap, as we will see in the uh, segment on Drupad later. Now, this kind of Alap, you know, extensive Alap before a bandish is rarely performed these days in Khayal. It was performed, uh, you know, a few decades ago, but Today, uh, these days, Khayal predominantly uh, has Alap only within the bandish, after the bandish is rendered. And again, the Alap is typically built up step by step from the lower range to the higher range, exploring each region, each swara uh, through various phrases. So, I, I will demonstrate um, around the Pandesh that you we have heard before. This is in Shuddha Sarang and Bilambitin Tal Naya Muri Para. quality is maintained. Even in Alap, you don't, you flow between the mantras of the Tal. Ah, ah, ah. 
because I have uh, speeded up the ILAP. Uh, ILAP is done in a much more leisurely way and uh, more explorations around each area. For demonstration, I have just uh, taken up two or three areas. The second uh, element of Raga Vistar is uh, using the text of the composition and this, this is done in uh, various ways. First, we have what is called bowl alap. So, this is actually alap. That is, it, it, in, in feel, it, it sounds like alap, but instead of uh, you know just having a or e, the actual words of the composition are used. So, in this case, it will have the structure, the melodic contours, the melodic flow of alap, but instead of a, we, we have the words of the composition, like in this case it would be Naya or Muri Par Karu and so on. Bol Alap. So I use the words of the text. <coughs> the, it can be, it's up to the performer what words they want to use. Naya Muri Par Karu, right? So, This is called bowl alap, which um, again has a loose setting in tala, right? Bowl alap, alap, all alap in the khayal idiom is, is incorporated into the avartanas, into the tala cycles. Then we have bowl laya or bowl bant. Here again the text bowl means words right speech bowl in this context is the text so bowl laya or bowl bant this what happens is there is rhythmic play uh, there is considerable rhythmic complexity uh, while using the words of the composition so bowl bant uses words or text and rhythm or meter and is also within the tal cycle and we also have bol taan so taan is fast melodic runs and uh, so you use the words of the text while delivering fast runs and that becomes bol taan the same words used with some rhythmic effect become bol band and with faster melodic runs becomes bol taan Yeah, 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 yeah
नैया मोरी पार करो नैया मोरी पार करो तो then we have uh, sargam sargam is actually saregama pa uh, saregama pa dhani these are sar sargam now in this kind of vistar the solfa syllables that is saregama etc are used and uh, uh, you know that many musicians many schools of music don't uh, prefer this this kind of uh, this aspect of vistar sargam involves using the actual the solfa syllables right sare ma pa in this case ni ni da sa ni re re so this was a part of explanation of the raag we uh, one strategy of improvisation improvisation re re ni 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 da sa ni re we have as i said tans tans are a, a, a highlight of any ta, uh, khayal performance because they can be dazzling so rather than a you know slow alap intense alap you know when you have a fast melodic run it's it's more impactful uh, tans are uh, they can be very very exciting very exciting aspect of the uh, of a khayal performance and tans uh, there are you know various patterns various kinds of tans and so on tans are fast melodic runs and uh, there are various patterns that musicians practice and they, they are rendered at various speeds also ah, 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 ah. this is rendered uh, this is slower tan hmm? ah, 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 ah. actually are are broad categories of broad uh, ways in which vistar happens and how these are actually translated into performance how how is alap done or how is bol ban done or bol laya done this varies widely from school to school and musician to musician and there is also some variability as regards the 
relative importance of these various uh, elements. Some schools are more alap oriented and do not engage much with the text of the song. They do not have much use for rhythmic play also. They are most, they, they are, their entire thrust is on tuneful alap. But then there are uh, schools, as I said, that completely avoid sargam. There, there are quite a few of them. And uh, the, the two, uh, two elements of this star that all schools do use are alap and taan. I mean, I am talking about khayal, of course. All schools of khayal, they do use alap and taan. But there are some schools that don't use bol alap at all. There are some schools that don't engage much with the uh, uh, bol laya and so on. And, and drupad, uh, as I mentioned earlier, does not include taan or sargam. It only has alap and bol, uh, bol bant or bol laya. Now, let us listen to uh, Bhuvanesh Komkali's rendition of a composition in Rag Yaman and uh, the Vistar, as I said, a, a composition, a Hayal composition is never presented just like that. It is always accompanied with some Vistar. And so here the composition itself is uh, full of tans and uh, the uh, Vistar also proceeds with tan as the mainstay. Shoka tu mavi na 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 